All right, so here it is. Let's uh, get our contracts organized. Uh, it's been I've been calling it the Octo One, but in the chat and now it's gotten into the YouTube comments. It's been referred to as the Sharpie, and I 100% understand the reason why. <laughs> so uh, I'll try and keep it to that. Oh, there is a cross the radiation belts. Let's see if we can do that. But we'll try. We're gonna go for a low orbit first. We have, okay, these are all about planes. There's Orbit Earth and another Orbit Earth. They're coming from two different contract packs. Okay, so we got three contracts, but two of them are simply to orbit the Earth, to get into an appropriate orbit of the Earth. So we're gonna go for that, we're gonna go for that, we're gonna go for that. Uh, I always hate building something and then waiting a week and then flying it because I'm always sort of nervous because I feel like I've, you know, there's something that I'm forgetting to do, but I don't think so. So I'm going to throttle up. This is my first rocket that has SAS, thanks to the octo core that's inside there. But I'm pretty sure I just need to to bang this puppy off. So uh, let's yeah, let's just do a brief cat three, two, one, go. <laughs> here we're off. Okay. And um, here, let's get going a little bit, and then we'll uh, start our gravity turn. This thing isn't the most agile of rockets. I think I might wait. Let's go a little higher. Usually I start that turn around 75 or 50 meters per second, but I'm going to go a little higher. Okay, and I'm going to try and see if if I just take off the SAS if it will just follow along with that prograde vector. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. So, people were talking about the fuel tanks. So I could have gotten bigger fuel tanks, but you can see I already have bigger fuel tanks, but they're the Mark 1 liquid fuel tanks and so some people might be a little bit confused I'm gonna actually start pitching over a little bit further Didn't knock over enough uh, aren't those just liquid fuel tanks how do you have liquid fuel and oxidizer in them because I have a contract pack or a mod sorry called uh, sorry I'm concentrating and flying I'm, I'm not going over steep enough I have a mod called uh, Tank Configurator, I think it is, or Container, oh my god, I got it wrong last week and I'm going to get it wrong again, uh, something, Container config. it's in the mods, Container something, <laughs> which you can use to edit the tanks and turn them into whatever you want. I'm going to reduce my throttle, I feel like I'm going kind of fast. I really would love to see this time to Apoapsis at some point, but I got to upgrade the tracking station for that very steep ascent but my apple apsis is already pretty high let's just leave it there okay turn that off apple apsis is now almost 82 kilometers so we'll just kind of coast up there and i even think i might have some primitive oops if i put this on and steer yeah i do have yeah i have reaction wheels now some primitive reaction wheels too. I didn't think I had it last week, but I can see now I can. So this is making all of this quite a lot easier. You okay, gotta stay close to that prograde vector. Should have been paying attention to science too. All that science is running. Yep. None of it's being transmitted yet because I've yet to up the antenna. Still got a lot of data space, so that's good. So the idea with this one is just really to get up, finish these two contracts, maybe cross a radiation belt, and uh, collect a whole lot of science from orbit. Okay, I can extend our antenna. There it goes. Configurable containers. Thank you. I was all, I was in the ballpark. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so nice having like some reaction wheels. I don't think I... I think they're just the reaction wheels that are in here. Yeah, there is a wheel authority. So yeah, I got reaction wheels in that pro body. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Throttle up. Throttle up, you fool. Oh my gosh. We're getting close to apoapsis. So I'm keeping, I want to keep this apoapsis pretty close by, so I'm pitching down a little. I don't want to uh, let this get too big on me. Whoops. 
Sorry. A little bit of a finger mix up and went for the X. And I, there we go. I'm going to go with that. So we're 76 by 84. I'm very, very happy with that. We're going to rotate this and put it onto this north line here. We are in an inclined orbit, so I'm going to go, I think, oh, yeah, away from the planet. So that this is vertical on the screen. And that's for the sunlight. To help me out with the sunlight, so my solar panels are exposed. We are collecting... Oh, all we got is a radiation scan that's being collected. We should be transmitting all of our stuff. And we're also going to be in a bit of an inclined orbit, as you can see, because... Um, because we're launching from the Cape Canaveral and uh, that is not on the equator which forces you into an inclined orbit. So hopefully we're just gonna hang out here. Now there are radiation belts I should show people. Um, these come with Kerbalism mod. If you press zero on the numpad you can see your radiation belts. Right now we're tucked below the inner belt is this one and you can see, I think we're just... Well, we might actually cross it anyway. Um, but uh, I want to get this one contract. Still have 668 meters per second, so easy. I don't have to bring this back down. And also, when it comes to the radiation scan that's aboard here, the, it's not... It's not just high space, low space, and all that kind of stuff. It is in the magnetosphere, if you look right now. And then if you get into the inner belt, there is a scan. And then if you get into the outer belt, which is this zone, it's another scan. And if you can get yourself out of the magnetic sphere, magnetosphere altogether, it's another. I don't think I have the DV for that. I'm looking as well that I probably... Could have timed this better. It'd be nice if the inclination kind of matched the way the magnetic fields are, but they don't. Yeah, 90k. I, I, we might just cross a belt anyway. Is there any kind of restrict? So these guys are done. Just says cross a radiation belt, but I'm looking like it looks to me like because we're coming close to a pole here, we may just cross a belt as it is. Okay, the radiation scan is done. See if we cross a belt. Yeah, see? <laughs> Just crossed the belt right there because we dipped down as low as we did. So we're now in the inner belt. And you can see we're collecting some science in the inner belt. We didn't even have to change our orbit. So that worked out all right. Um, whether, it'll, whether we're going to be in here for seven minutes, I don't know. Nope. Definitely not. I think we're out of the belt now again, right? Yeah, we're back in the magnetic. So let's see here. What can we do? I'm thinking... Oh, I can't do maneuver nodes. This is very sketchy. You're just kind of dipping in and out. I'm thinking if I do a burn around here and push this part out into the inner belt here. So that's what I'm thinking about. And I don't think I need to be very high. Maybe about... 200 kilometers? Let's go to here and push our apoapsis to 200 kilometers. Let's try that. Someone's saying 90 kilometers. But I want to spend some time in there. And I got the DV for it. And this thing doesn't need to come back. So this is what I'm thinking. Right, right around here. And push this part of our orbit into this belt. So, in here, you can actually, if you press just one, you just have the inner belt. That's all I'm looking at. Okay, so push it onto prograde. Push that out. Watch that apple. Actually, I can just watch it on here, can I? So I'm right into the middle of this whole belt region. About there. 300 kilometers. 318. That should finish that off. And again, I want to orient this for the solar panels. And whenever you're in an inclined orbit, the easiest thing to do is look for that north-south circle. Get it onto there. And then I can see I need to tilt towards the planet. So I start tilting this way until it's vertical on the screen. And then you have a nice orientation for your solar panels. All right, let's go get... Okay, all our contracts are done. Get rid of that. Let's go get to those belts.
And then maybe what we'll do is we'll go for an outer belt too, because that's another biome. All that data is transmitted now. Yep. So we're just going up. There it is. So we're collecting now radiation scan in the inner belt. Doing a little bit of experimentation with our Van Kerman belts, learning about them. So at some point we're going to need to send Kerbals out this way. Shoot, did I get it all? Oh, now it says Magnetosphere again. Oh, did I, I... Oh, I went too high. Look at that. I'm popping up out of it. Right out there. Silly inclined orbit. I just popped out, and now we're popping back in. Okay, there we go. We got it all. All right, uh, let's get the outer belt. So that's pressing uh, 2. Let's us see the outer belt. And again, I was thinking... The best plan might be, again, to come around here and push. Thing is, is when I push here... No, the better plan... Do, 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 do. Look at it on edge. No, maybe that is the better plan. Get again right around there. Push it prograde. More science! Oh, we did some temperature scanning, space high. I didn't even notice that. Telemetry report, space high. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, again, right around here, I think. So we're pushing this out. Into, it's so hard because everything's 3D. <laughs> they really have a sense of where these zones are. So I want to get myself into this zone here. This zone. Pushing that out. Still have over 400 meters per second of DV. With no plans to deorbit this thing, we'll just leave it out here. How's that look? I think so. That looks like to me like it would be in there. Again, we'll orient for solar panels. All this science is going back home. We should be 60.7 science back home. Oh my golly. Oh my golly. This is turning into a mother load of science. A mother load of science for us. All right, again, we'll just time warp. And out in this region, we should be getting, there it is, doing a radiation scan in Earth Outer Belt. And these radiation belts are harmful to Kerbals, by the way. They're also harmful to electronics. The electronics, if the probe spends too much time out here, will eventually get roasted. All right, so that is done. Okay. Uh, can you revert or are you on hard mode? Um, at this point, I'm not going to revert. Um, I never take off. I would never in KSP completely get rid of the ability to revert because sometimes the Kraken just says it's going to mess with you. And I don't think it's fair to have to um, put up with that. Oh, this is not... I realize now I should have been pushing out in this direction here. And so I don't revert as long as the law. So at this point, I won't revert no matter what happens. Um, but if I got like, you know, if something funky happened right at launch or if I'm doing a landing and the landing gear decide they're going to blow up on me, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Then I would revert. So I guess the short answer is no. I think you can deorbit this craft with the leftover fuel. I definitely can't. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the... I was about to think about pushing my orbit out to here, and then I noticed these 64 meters per second. So, no. There's no... You're right. Let's deorbit. I was getting way ahead of myself and not even looking at how much fuel I had left and see if I could get myself out of the magnetosphere, and there's just no way. So, we're going to get 
out towards our apoapsis. Again, I don't know exactly where that is. I guess you can tell by, whoops. Oh, there, we're going back down. So we just passed apoapsis. We're going to put it on retrograde. We're going to burn. Oh, leave it out there for solar flare science. I forgot about that. You're right. We'll leave it out here. We're going to leave it out here. I'm not going to do anything to it. I caught me just before I did that retrograde burn and deorbited this thing. But you're right. When there's a coronal mass ejection from the sun, we can collect science for that. 